Hello everyone. Right, I've got something really exciting to show you today. Um, it has been done by others, but I've got something that I don't, I haven't seen anybody else do, so I've got a bit of a unique twist on it. And it's the baby wipe technique, but I'm going to be doing it with the stamping blends. Um, not the stamping blends, what am I talking about? The the um, your ink refills, your stamping ink refills. And also with the brushes, which I don't, I haven't seen anybody else do. But one of the sort of like throwaway bits at the end that you would normally do and don't think of enables you to make the I've used the varied vases punch to punch out these and then I've just glazed them I can't really get them to get you so you can see so that they're shot oh you can see on there shiny but look at the stunning pattern on them out of something that you'd probably just throw away so without further ado let's get on and show you how to do it first of all I'm not going to do it on that because it'll go straight through. So I hope I'm not going to get too much glare on my mat. I think I might just turn my big light off like that. You can still see. Right, first of all, you want to get yourself baby wipes. Any baby wipes will do. You can just get the cheap. These are just cheap ones from Aldi. So they don't have to be fancy in any way. I like to do two together because um, it m makes more of a um, thicker because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making like an ink pad. Right, I just cut myself some paper. Hang on, wasn't organised. Right. Got myself some paper these are some of the techniques that i've done um that was with uh using the re-inkers and i added some spots of gold uh with a smaller stamp i used the um large stamp from the sheltering tree to create that background and then i used the smaller stamp there to add in the little so I can flex of gold. You can see there's darker bits there. There are little bits of gold. Just sort of like lifts the image. And then this one was done with the um, brush-o powders on the baby wipe. That one was with the flowery part of the varied vases. Just randomly stamped. And then these are the little technique I'm going to show you at the end. So, oh, that one was also using brushos and the doily stamp out of the very vintage, and that looks beautiful. So, let's get on with the exciting bit. We'll do, um, oh, I need the stamp, don't I? We'll do the reinkers first because that's um, the sort of one that everybody does so I'll load my stamp onto my block I'll just give it a wipe just to make sure it's clean because we used it at our team this was my demo at our team um, get together last weekend and um, it was hilarious when when I'd done um, I just added in the little swooshy pattern at the end and everyone sort of like went woo together. It was hilarious. Goodness knows what they thought we were doing if they were just walking by the room. Right. So I think we've got everything just about ready to go. I'll just get myself a couple more pieces of card just to be sure. So I want to show you absolutely everything that I can so that you can make the most out of this technique. Right, so all you're going to do to start with is get your um, your pile of baby wipe, folded baby wipes, and you're going to drip on just a few drips 
of whatever colour inks you choose. This one is So Saffron, one of my favourites, and this one is one of the returning colours, Flirty Flamingo. Right, so we could just we could just purely do a two colour two colour blend to start with and then all you do is you let them sort of like mingle together and you're going to kind of smoosh them with your stamp that way you get sort of like more of a mix of the colours so you can see it sort of like smooshed it round and then I'll use a bigger bit for this one take your piece of card and I am in shot on there you go and you just stamp it doesn't really matter if it's perfect or not perfect but that's like your first image and then you just keep going back you're never going to get the same color twice because um, it's you're using different parts of the stamp and you're smooshing them together every time so sometimes it will be a bit darker I'll hold it up so you can see. There we go. And then we'll go on and fill the rest of our background in. Like that. Now, if you place that onto, um, I'll just give you a you then place that onto a piece of background paper to sort of like pick up the colours you can really see how that works I will put that light back on again one. Yeah. it really does it's just such a lovely subtle background and then you could stamp other elements of your card in those colours and you know it's all gonna so you're making your own decorative papers really and all I did to add the little bits of gold or you could add silver was to go in with a smaller stamp from the, the um, set and just dot Versamark here and there. Make sure this is totally dry verse. Give it a blast with your gun. Um, and then dot round with Versamark. Doesn't matter where it goes because it's a random background. And then sprinkle on your gold embossing powder and then heat emboss. And um, that's how I got the uh, like the gold sort of like sp sparkly effect on there. Right, that's the first sort of technique with that. Um, and then you sort of think mm, you could go on and keep doing and keep doing and keep doing with that bit, but you sort of think oh, I'll kind of finish with that. So if you just. Uh, wad it up like you're going to throw it away then you can just get a hold of it in your hand and use it to swipe across your card like that and then you'll get in your own fantastic sort of like striped uh, backing paper and that is that is what I'd used to to die cut these, uh, punch these out afterwards. I used this these two colours to make these vases, and then I pushed them when they were dry. I pushed them into a Versamark pad, and um, added clear embossing ink. So it looks like I've got glazed um, fancy pottery vases. Right, now I'll go on to um, showing you, um, oh that, that's a bit, that's sort of like done with sort of like similar colours but I think that's got a bit of the rich razzleberry in as well. Uh, uh, you can, if you wanted to, you could just add a bit more um, colour into that. That comes out as blue, but it's actually is actually the rich raspberry. Oops. And then just smush it round some more. And then uh, keep there you go. Keep 
keep going and you get a bit more intense colour than, than the first one we did. That's just adding in another colour that the ink in, in your cloth just seems to go on and on. And then if you swooshed with that now, you get a darker, oops, a darker stripe. But you could have one as your top half of your card, backing paper and um, decorative paper and the different on the bottom. Now, this is messy. If you're um, worried about your, your hands getting coloured, I would wear gloves because it is a messy technique. But I personally think all of the best craft techniques are messy. Right, let's show you on with the brushes. I think all the ladies, when I did the demo at the um, at the event, all the ladies were like, right, I'm going home now. I want to order brushes and reinkers. Right, this time I'm going to go in with the... Uh, ooh, I don't know what colours to choose. Um, let's have a bit of... Oh, by the way, never, ever, when you get these, never take this clippy seal round the top off. Just punch a hole in the top because, trust me, you do not want a big, the top off because it will go everywhere and you will regret it. Right, that one was the yellow, but it has loads of different other colours in it. It's, it's never, you rarely get... Uh, brushos that have just one colour. This one is brilliant red and I think we'll have a bit of um, gamboge, a bit of the orange. Now if you want any of these products they're all available in my Stampin' Up! store from my website if you want to uh, go over and have a look. I will leave the, the link below. I will also do a blog post on this technique so that you can go back there and get further details if you didn't quite understand anything. You can always, always ask me questions. One thing I love to do is talk, as you probably know. Right, now, you, you've got to kind of work this in a bit because this is a powder, it isn't a liquid, so it isn't going to sink straight in. Um, do you know what? I think I'm going to use something else this time. I think I'm going to use the... Um, oh, that was one just hitting the floor. I'm going to use that uh, gorgeous doily from very vintage and bear in mind when I stamp it and it comes out um, not perfect it is like a distressed stamp so it will right if you haven't got a glass mat by the way and you you want to do this without don't just do it on um, if you just did it on your grid paper or on your desk they it it leaks through the back of the um, that's the back of the, the, the other one I did and it leaks through the back so you don't want that all over your table or whatever. So if you haven't got a glass mat, you can use a big um, like stamping up block, uh, stamping block or you could even use a like a case to do it on just to, just to form a barrier from stopping the uh, ink going through. Right, let's get this like smooshed in. I think even if you um, if if it if your baby wipes weren't the wettest, you could um, spritz it with a little bit of water. That would get it going as well. Right, let's just dry that bit there. Put paper down. Every time oh, I get a bit giddy. Every time it's like magic. You do not know what you're gonna get. So let's go. Oh, it's gorgeous. A beautiful blend of colours. 
and it don't matter how many times you do it you're never going to get the same so um oh it's gorgeous i can't help but get excited and i just tried the brushos just by chance just thought mm, i'm just going to check and see if they will work while i've got the uh well, I've got the mess everywhere. Let's put that one there. Let's go in and do another one just there. Kind of doesn't matter if we overlap. Go in there. Little bits on the corners. There we go. Let's go in there. then see I don't know if I can you see that better if I shine it under the light if I bring it right up to the look at that it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous now you could if you wanted that whole thing shiny you could um, cover the go over the whole lot with Ursamark and um, cover it with clear embossing powder and heat the whole thing and it would be like a um almost like a bespoke uh painted tile individual tiles if you sort of like gloss it you could cut it up and use that in a pattern on your card um but what i want to know is what is that going to look like swooshed across your card so let's find out is it going to work? Is it going to fail? I don't know. Let's see. Are you ready? I've got the lamp in the way. Right. And this strip of light here is from the top of my storage unit. But you, you can still see. I, I need light. I've got two windows, one behind me and one beside me. Anyway, I'm building up the tension here. Are you ready? Oh my goodness, look at that. That is amazing. Look. Let's do one on the other side. So just go, let's go down the ways. Oh, just look. It's amazing. That's brushos. So you know, again, if you wanted your two your different, you know, your your two different papers are going to go together. Obviously, that's not perfect, but you you're kind of never going to get perfect. But you could swoosh it more perfect than I have. I'm just rushing because I want to get in as many different um, techniques and show you as many different things as I can. I also want to try and stamp this. Um, this gorgeous, gorgeous vintage flower from the um, the very vintage. This is a hostess stamp set that you get um, if you spend over one hundred and fifty pounds. Um, but it's beautiful, and I think it is going to be a really popular, popular stamp set. Because look, just look at that; that is amazing. Let's see what it looks like stamped with all these different colours. I don't even know if it's going to work. Oh, it's, it's vague, it's faint, but my goodness, it's beautiful. I don't even think you can see it. Let me... Uh, let me move my light and see if I can. Oh, it's it's gorgeous. I love it. You just it's, you show the that stamp shows so much incredible detail. Can you see every little vein of the flower just comes out. I wonder if I had a bit of uh, what would happen if I had a bit of Prussian blue in there. that's going to do 
and um, what colour did my hair? I think I had orange. I don't know, it'll be too dry now though, that's the thing. Squish it down. Oh. Oh, do you think it's going to work? Do you think it's not going to work? I don't want to ruin that one. Let's see. It doesn't matter how many bits of paper you cut, how many pieces of card you cut, anything. You just, honestly, you could just sit and go on and on and on. Well, that's... All different colours. Such a gorgeous stamp. Wow. Wow. I think I prefer the more subtle colours, but that's equally as beautiful. So, all you need to get yourself, if you want to do this technique, is a cheap pack of baby wipes, some reinkers that are I think they're three pound fifty each and they're I mean they're really handy to have because you can use them to re-ink your ink pads you can use them to colour your um embossing paste you could to match so you've got embossing paste to match your card um you can use them in this technique so they're not there's another technique I'm going to show you as well on a separate video. So they're not just for re-inking your, your ink pad. So if you've got like favourite colours, like I, I like to have Rich Razzleberry, I really love. And obviously um, So Saffron is one of my all-time favourites. And I am a sucker for um, Old Olive. I love my greens. So honestly, if you you won't regret buying them you will use them loads and loads and loads in so many different um techniques i mean just look at that let me bring it right up close just look all the different colors they just look amazing they really do look amazing that's one i did using the same stamp but with more blues and reds um, and uh, brushos the same they're on the stamping up on my stamping up website um, which I will leave the link for below and then but you you're not just stuck with um, keeping them just like this get a get a punch um, I haven't got my I haven't got my um, vases punch because it got left behind at the event last week so I'm waiting for it to Amanda sent it back to me but you can punch I'm just gonna punch look how amazing they look you've got stripy pattern balloons or dotty balloons or you could have one of each to mount up on your project to use and they're just different and every one is going to be unique you're not going to get the same pattern twice um and uh the same with those darling little vases from the uh very vases i'll bring them up really close actually if i put them on a piece of card you will see them better I'm just waffling now because I'm just so excited. I can't help myself. Forgive. Look at those. Just look at those. So I'm going to leave you with that and I'm going to clear up all my mess. Um, I hope you've grasped the excitement and, I, and it's a relatively cheap thing to have a go at. And once you've had a go, you are absolutely going to love it. So thank you for your time. If you've enjoyed this video, please, please give me a thumbs up. I am trying to um, grow my YouTube channel 
Um, so if you could share this with your friends, I would be hugely grateful. And um, thank you very much and goodbye for now.